Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com My name is Jason Newland This is Let Me Bore You to Sleep Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes uh, What else is there to say? Uh, yeah, so You can stream this recording free as well as downloading it for just one pound. So you can stream it for free, download it for one pound on my website. Okay, jasonnewland.com. That's a boring start. The thing is, as I start this recording, I'm hearing banging. <laughs> I should explain what I mean when I say that. I think the cleaners are here cleaning the hallway or something like that. So by banging, I mean, um, uh, I, the sound of doors being slammed and the the part of the broom that's being used to sweep the floor bashing against the door that kind of stuff and the because where I live we've got this metal we've got a staircase because it's uh, it's handy for getting upstairs and then there's this frame I don't mean like a picture frame but uh what do you call it? A thing that you that you put your hand on. The rest, the uh, whatever it's called. But you you know, so walking up and there's a, a thing you can rest your hand. Not <laughs> rest your hand. You don't rest your hand on it really, do you? You just, just put your hand on there and just leave it there. Oh, there you go. Have a, have a little have a little break. I mean, that you can help to support yourself. Bannister. They'd be called banisters, wouldn't they? I suppose on a staircase. But it doesn't seem doesn't seem right to use the word banisters because I don't think anyone's used that word since the eighties. Uh, but I'm not sure. But anyway, I've got one of those, and it goes all the way round um, as a I guess as a security safety thing, you know, so that people just don't end up walking off the ledge. Um, because it's, it's hard to well, it's not hard to explain I just can't be bothered um, I can I can't I'm trying to think so if they say if you go up the stairs there's on the left hand side on the right hand side there's a wall which helps keep keep the building up and then on the left hand side there's like a metal banister, kind of. Does that make sense? And it goes all the way around from where I am, not not where I am here right now, because I'm in the living room, but outside, it goes round and then round again to the right and then around again and then all the way down the stairs so that I could literally if I needed to uh, let's say I had a mobility issue and I needed a bit of support to help me to get around I could lean on this thing uh, with my right arm well, that's if I'm going forward, I suppose left arm if I'm going walking backwards, but I can't imagine walking backwards down the stairs is something advisable to people with mobility issues. But maybe, I don't know, it doesn't seem like a very good idea. So anyway, I can walk and I can literally be supported from my flat, my front door, all the way down to the bottom of the stairs 
which I think is really nice of them because they could have, I suppose, if they stopped halfway down the stairs, um, that wouldn't have been quite as good. Would have looked a bit weird as well. But they go all the way down the stairs, which is nice. I think they do. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. Which means that, you know, as I... As I deteriorate, <laughs> as I get older, gradually turn to dust, I, um, it might come in handy, you know. So, yeah, it's good. So, well, it's not good, I mean, it just is what it is. Got concrete steps. The stairs are made of concrete. I mean, I don't know what other kind of materials that steps are made of. I mean, marshmallow wouldn't be a good substance, would it? Um, chocolate. I think the only way chocolate would be a good, make a good staircase is at the very first time it's made and it's untouched. Does that make sense? Because I think then I could, because you can have a nice little lick and it'll be fine. But I think once people are walking up and down, it, I wouldn't, especially as it's, you know, the stairs would be brown as well. I wouldn't always know what, uh, what it was if it was still chocolate. I mean, it'd still be chocolate, but what kind of is on top of the chocolate? Mind you, I suppose if you've got a little drill, you could like drill a little bit out, couldn't you? Pull a little bit out and have a little treat, which would be nice, perhaps. Just every now and then. I don't know. I don't know if I'd want it to be made of chocolate. I think a good way, I think a good thing to be made of would be something that was firm but also bouncy. Firm but bouncy. I'm trying to think what what's firm but bouncy? I don't know what kind of material because you could walk up it and it'd be firm enough for you to do that but if you slipped you'd bounce and you'd be cushioned you'd uh, so yeah I'd like to have a firm and bouncy staircase and also if it's bouncy you could just if you're feeling a bit fruity you could bounce on the bottom bottom step and then land at the top but also things I don't know if it would work that way though because if you if you jumped off the top step and landed on the bottom step it'd be soft and cushiony but would it would you bounce off of it like a trampoline I'm not mean that you're a trampoline landing on the bouncy Staircase. I mean, if it, if the like someone landing on a trampoline, but then I suppose it depends. If you if you spread your body out, then it would be less of a bounce than if you um, if it was focused just on your feet. Then I suppose you'd land a little bit deeper into it, which would give it a little bit more of a spring. But if you landed and spread your body out, you wouldn't, it'd be more spread out. So it'd be more of a soft, cushiony landing. Nice, nice, uh, bountiful, bountiful uh, uh, result. Rather than, I mean, you don't want to land and start spring up from the bottom step and hit your head on the ceiling unless of course you've got something on the ceiling to make it nice and 
nice and gentle, nice and, and ideally, what's it those things that you used to be able to get that you'd, that if you put your, if you put something against it, it moved and it became that shape. So that whatever, so if you landed in the ceiling, your head would go through it, but it wouldn't because it just leave the indentation of your head, but you'd be safe and it wouldn't hurt. And then when you moved out, the, the little bits would fall back down again. It makes sense to me in my head. That seems to be like an awful lot of trouble to go to in order to do, to jump off the top of the top step onto the bottom step. So I guess you don't need to, don't need to do that. It's not, not necessarily necessary um, to do such a thing. But at the same time, it seems like it might be useful and fun because if you've got like a nice firm, a nice firm um, staircase to bounce up and down that it's bouncy and you might want to bounce on it it makes sense you know I want to have a nice little go on them on it on the, the the staircase on them like the steps I mean and you want to get yeah I suppose you you just it's been joy yeah it'd be nice like getting in between them and pushing them together and It'd be, it'd feel nice, I suppose, you know, especially on your ankles. Be it would tickle your ankles, wouldn't it? Especially if like all the 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 steps were kind of manoeuvrable. Is it mandible? Mand mangible? You know, like a it would be like marshmallows, wouldn't it? I guess, but without the marshmallow ness. Well, that's another thing. If you had a, if you had some stairs or steps made of one thing let's say marshmallows for example you hear the dogs I've got the dog today he's getting very impatient being here with me doesn't like it he wants his daddy <laughs> nothing I can do about that I took him out he did a massive poo Huge. Oh. I'm never ever going to get a dog simply because I don't like picking up poo. Might seem a little bit selfish, but no thanks. No. Anyway, back to back to marshmallows. If you're gonna, if you're gonna have your steps, your 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 staircase, made of marshmallows, as an example, or skittles. Let's say skittles. Yeah, skills. Mind you, skills. I get the idea. If you had skills, they could, like, slide you down. Like they'd have a little life of their own. They'd slide you down and then kind of go back to their normal form again. I don't know. But yeah, anyway, so skills, as an example, skills. And you might think, oh, I love skills. Oh, I love them. And nobody else is ever going to use that staircase. And you decide you're only going to walk up the part against the wall so you'll leave part of that staircase completely untouched that way you can just help yourself to the skills have a nice lick and also because it's a staircase made of skills it's going to be magical isn't it it's a magical idea so the skills replace themselves because we all know if you put you put two skills into a into a little tree house together, then 
they reproduce. They do. The skills. I mean, it's a good thing. It's a, it's a common thing. Any kind of confectionery or chocolate, you put two bits of chocolate together, one puts his willy into the other one's wonka. That's, that's how it works out. And then it's. It's. Because uh, that's why there's so many skills. The same with Smarties as well. Mind you, Mark. You know those big chocolate bars? What is it? Uh, Toblerone. Toblerone. They don't reproduce quite as much because the birth's just too painful. So, um, so you've got skills. You've got this staircase with skills. And you lick it, and you you know it's it always reproducing, so it's always a nice fresh batch. The problem could be is, I mean, you've gone out of your way to get this staircase. It's not something you can buy in your local superstore, is it? You know. By the way, I'd like a. Where's the school staircase, staircase section, please? There is no such thing. What do you mean there's no such thing? No, we don't do them, but we do have the Mars Bar garages over there. Oh, okay, lovely. What about the Kit Kat kitchens? Well, that wouldn't work, would it? Do you imagine having a kitchen or Kit Kat? Kettle, toaster, the oven, the microwave, all made of Kit Kat. The fryer. I mean that a deep that deep fat fryer made of Kit Kat. I mean it'd be brilliant for the first day. I mean it'd be a chocolate orgy, wouldn't it? It'd be wonderful. But then it'd just be a mess. It'd just be gunk. It'd just be melted Kit Kat everywhere. It'd be sticky and gooey and... Ugh. Not very practical, I think, is what I'm trying to say. So you've got this skittle. You have to get this skittle staircase from Magical Skittle Fairy. Well, actually, the correct term is a magical skittle fairy producing. No, the the magic, <laughs> the the magical fairy that produces magical skittle staircases. Whew, got it out. And so you have to go into a forest, obviously, because that's where the magical fairies that produce skittle staircases live. And. You might say, well, how am I going to find them? Because there's so many fairies in the forest. And it's easy because they live, obviously, in the skittle tree. And so how how will I know which one's a skittle tree? It's, it's kind of obvious, isn't it? You lick all the trees until you find the one that tastes like skittles. I mean, it makes sense. Do I have to work everything out for you? Anyway, you go through that process. You you sell your soul so you can have this skill staircase. I want to say sell your soul, but you know, one day you're going to have to do the skittle fairy that provides your skittle magical skittle staircase a favour in the future. Um, so that's one issue. That's. Uh, a possible uh, problem in the future but the other thing is once you've got you've gone through all that process it takes ages to build it it, it isn't it's not self-assembly it doesn't come in a flat pack you know and oh, some lovely lovely background sounds from downstairs and sounds like they're having a good old clean 
I don't mean themselves, but... Ooh, let's have a cleaning party. Let's clean each other. Nothing there. Sorting out the flat or whatever. So I thought it was the cleaners that do the hallway, but it wasn't. It's, I think it's downstairs. But, um, anyway, I, I digress. I digest. So there's this skittle staircase. Eventually, eventually, you're going to get fed up with it. It's skittles. And the next day, it's still skittles. And the next day, it's still bloody skittles. Every day, the same. Skittles. And what turned into being a dream come true. A miracle. A living miracle. Almost... You know, your one wish in life. You know, that was that old world piece and you thought, no, skills, skill staircase. And it's like, okay, great. Eventually, it goes from being a magical skittle staircase that's been um, given to you by the magical skittle fairy that produces magical skittle staircases into being a staircase. Just another staircase. And you might think, oh, I don't know. I mean, it's skills. I mean, how could a skill staircase ever just be a normal staircase? Well, it has been built to be functional. You know, it's not just a big pile of still skills, um, a big pile. It's actually a staircase. You can walk up it. Otherwise, how would you get to the other, you know, the other floor? How would you get to your apartment or your flat if they weren't stairs? Hence the word staircase. And you might say, yeah, yeah, well, I don't go on. So I'm not going on, I'm just, I'm just explaining to you that that is, you know, it's actually a functioning, workable staircase. And then it kind of becomes a staircase. And it loses its uh, excitement, you know, because the best will in the world, it's quite difficult to get too excited about a staircase. Now, I imagine when people get, you know those staircases you can get that have a little, little chair that go up and down, Not, I mean it doesn't go up and down, you know, like a, you don't want those silly cars that people have that like jump up and down on the wheels. Not like that. It has a, a reason. It goes up the stairs on the side of the wall and takes people with mobility issues up to the top of the stairs and back. Now, I've sat on those and they're a lot of fun. For the first two, three hundred times then it gets a bit boring you may say yeah but it's not actually for people it's not supposed to be uh, a fairground ride and I said well fair enough it's not supposed to be a fairground ride but it is quite a good fairground ride and you may argue saying well well you can't argue because it is it's, it is fun and you say well if it's fun, you wouldn't walk around, um, you wouldn't put someone's hearing aid in you, would you, or wear someone's glasses, or, you know, carry a walking stick around if you didn't need to. I said, no, I wouldn't. 
because that's not fun. Those stair lifts are both fun and also useful because I am lazy. Don't like to do anything unless I have to. I want a B day. But unfortunately, I'm night. Ooh, you get to see that. Ooh, 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 pun, pun. You want a B day, but you're not, because you're night. <laughs> no, I want a B day. I'd love to have a B day. In fact, I'd probably use it when I didn't need to use it, but that's a, that's a different thing. I think it's the old joke is that I can't afford to be a B day, so I have to, I have to stand on me, stand on my head in the shower. So the thing is with this uh, magical skittle staircase, is, is, is this is the this is the thing, the thing. It's going to get boring, very boring. And then what do you do? What do you do? Because it's boring now. It's just the staircase. Just the staircase. And you spend all that money and all those wishes and all that time and all that energy and whatever else you've spent time on and you've got a staircase that's just a staircase. Now, some people might say, ah, but it's a staircase. And I think that's a bit of a rubbish argument because we already know it's a staircase. I mean, how can that be an argument? Oh, but I'm going to tell you something that you already know that's factual and it has no significance at all on what you're saying. Oh, okay, it's a staircase. Yeah, I know. So what do you do? You could go pick and mix. Have a bit of variety with your staircase when you choose it. Maybe licorice all sorts. You can have a licorice all sort staircase. But... I'm not a big fan of licorice all sorts. I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm not a hater. I don't, you know, I'm fine with it. Just not my, I suppose I've got more of a sweet tooth than a licorice kind of, licorice doesn't really do my taste buds. Doesn't give me, doesn't make my taste buds hard, if you know what I mean. Doesn't give me, that taste buds explosion that uh, perhaps something like uh, a crunchy would. I don't know if you have crunchies where you are, but they're nice. Or Maltesers, or... See, the dog's exactly the same as Andre. He's leaning on a carrier bag. Has to, has to lean, has to lay on something that makes noise. Always, always. So I think I'd probably choose a, I don't know, so I wouldn't choose chocolate on its own because you can't always tell what if it's, you know, if someone's been walking up there and it might not be chocolate. I live near a park and there's a lot of dogs out there. I'm talking like, dog walking dog walking dog walkers walking dogs that's what I mean so you know like I might come home one day and think oh some new chocolate's grown some fresh new chocolate and regret having thought of that so I'm like no but I suppose we go back to the original theory that nobody touches a staircase ever no one ever goes up there what about dust you may ask what about it or what what about uh, the 
dust will get onto the chocolate or the dust will get onto the sweets. Now, I would have it um, self-cleaning. It would be a self-cleaning staircase. So, you know, once a month for a few days, it, uh, you know, release whatever... Um, you know, it, whatever that it didn't need and it'd clean itself. So it'd be a nice, nice self-cleaning staircase. <laughs> and uh, I suppose I could have a jam donut staircase. So I like jam donuts. But sometimes I only like donuts. And sometimes I like the jam. And sometimes I like jam and the donuts at the same time and I do like sugar that might be the answer because however weird it might sound because donuts are savoury I know they've got sugar and jam but the actual donut itself is savoury it's pastry it's kind of a savoury food um, so or not depending on whether I'm, I might be wrong it's happened three times before um, during, <laughs> during this recording so a jammy donut I don't know how, what, why would I, that came to my mind but a nice jammy donut staircase of course, of course I'd have to go to a different fairy I'd have to go to the jammy donut fairy I'd just lick all the trees till I found a nice jammy donut tree I suppose that would be the one that, that was the one that was, I was going to say bleeding but not bleeding but had jam coming out of it um, I like do like a bit of jam but I think if I was going to choose a jammy donut staircase I'd quite like to have different flavoured jams because I do like jam but I'm not I'm not I wouldn't want to just have the same jam design or the jam, you know, same jam flavour all the time so I guess how it would work is I'd have a mixture of donuts not all of them would have jam in them there'd be some uh, ones without jam there'd be donuts maybe with some icing on or oh, I could do it now I could do a nice iced donut or oh, with a cherry a nice cherry ah oh. Oh, that I'd say uh, that new staircase I couldn't wait to take its cherry I'd be like oh I need that oh. and every day like I just like should I have a cherry or should I have one with jam on jam inside or one just with a hole so that would be handy at certain times just to have a nice a nice a donut with a hole so I could enjoy the whole because sometimes I don't always want jam sometimes it's just it's nice and it's nice sometimes to have them without sugar as well without anything on at all just a nice donut without anything and just enjoy it for what it is also I'd have to have different varieties so there'd be cold donuts and there'd be warm donuts. Because I love, I love a warm donut. That comes from when I used to work in a in a bakery. Well, it's a restaurant, but it had a bakery attached. And they used to make warm, well, everything was warm when it came out of the oven. But the donuts, I used to make them. I got given the 
the job to make the donuts so and I'd fr be frying them and then when they were cooled down I'd put in the jam and then I'd I'd always put in too much jam it was brilliant and then I would um, cover them in salt or well only if I couldn't find the sugar I would look, they look the same and it looks the same and uh, it's funny to watch the uh, the customers eating them as well you know Oh God, it tastes all salty. Why is there so much jam in it? It's going everywhere. So yeah, it was it was fun. It was a good job while it lasted. I'm not sure why it ended. I think I got sacked for some reason. I don't know why. Oh yeah, I was stealing. That's it, yeah. And so... I stole their hearts. They fell in love with me. No. So I had this staircase, I suppose, donuts, but not just jammy donuts, like a, an assortment of donuts, some with icing. Oh, I could really eat something with icing on right now, like a Belgian cake of icing. Belgian currant cake, lots of currants. Oh, whoa, whoa, icing. That'd do me a treat, that would. Set me up for at least two hours. Ooh. And then... I have different types of jam. So there, what is it? There's strawberry jam. Raspberry jam. Blackberry jam. Apricot jam. Bana is there a banana jam? I don't, I'm not sure if there is. Um, what other kind of jams is there? Um, walnut? No, this jam. Uh, prune jam? Is there prune? Yeah, you can get prune jam, can't you? Prune jam. I mean, that kid can lead to a different result, but it's still nice, you know. I suppose that's. Uh, I mean, really, that'd be. Mm, yeah, certain times of the year, a bit of prune jam and prune jam donut would be definitely help me out at times, certain times. But then I could be creative. And because I like to be creative at least once every four and a half years. So I'd like, I could have different shapes. I could make new creations of donuts. Like a peanut butter donut. A peanut butter inside so you bit into it and all this brown stuff squirted out. Or, I suppose, you could have the hole. Yeah, so the brown stuff would go out of the hole. Where you could have a... You could have a hole, like a donut with a hole in it. But inside, the, the circle could be peanut butter. Or Marmite. What about that? A Marmite. That's it. That's the dog. He's he's got all this all this carpet, and he has to has to lean on paper or a carrier bag. Has to has to make noise. Everyone in the world has to make noise or sound. Always, always. I don't know why. I don't know why. <laughs> So, what other things? So there's Marmite Donut. There would be... What other? You could have a meat spread donut. Like a pate. Yeah. Beef burger donut. 
chili con carne donut. Pizza donut. Can you imagine that? It's a donut, but when you bite into it, there's actually a slice of pizza in there. Which would be a bit weird. What other donuts could there be? Or, if you want to like throw people off, you could have a donut disguised as a pizza. So when you introduce the staircase, a welcome to my world famous uh, donut staircase, someone says, oh, that eh, there's a, a bit of pizza there. Eh, it's not a real, not re, it's not a real uh, donut staircase because there's a bit of pizza. And I say, well, go on, help yourself then. And uh, they get in a bite into it with absolute happiness on their face. And they get a mouthful of jam. I realise it was a it was a, a donut all along. Yeah. Because just because something looks like something else that it isn't doesn't mean it is or not that thing. You know? So what other things could I have inside a donut? Milk. You have milk in a donut, can you? In fact, it could be like a breakfast cereal. In fact, you could have milk and cornflakes already there. So it could be a ready breakfast. A breakfast ready, so you could take it, maybe eat it on the bus or the train uh, on the way to work or walking down the street, maybe. And or if you're flying a plane, of course, nothing better than to eat something uh, nice and clean like that and I suppose you could just suck it out can you you could stick your tongue in and just suck it out of the hole or you could bite part of it off and you could use the donut as a whole as a like a little bowl so you've got all the milk and the, the cornflakes inside and you could maybe maybe you know what maybe we could have like a little donut shaped spoon or a spoon shaped donut or a donut shaped spoon that was actually made of donut that you could eat afterwards and then you could have the breakfast cereal and then eat everything else afterwards so that could be a whole new line you know breakfast donuts but on my staircase so that would be one meal sorted wouldn't it then I suppose for the other times of the day, I could have an evening meal. So I could have a donut with, yeah, I could have an evening meal donut. We open it up, eat it, and just have a full meal in there. Gravy, beans, potatoes, peas, uh, veg, and whatever else with it. Maybe lasagna. Yeah, and uh, parsnips, uh, some pears, yogurt, you know. I mean, it wouldn't need to be a big, big uh, donut, really. It wouldn't take up much room. Might need to take the uh, the yogurt out of the carton and just mix that in with the, with the gravy and everything, just to save a bit of space. Otherwise, it'd be a bit ridiculous, wouldn't it? How are you going to fit a yogurt carton inside a, a donut? That'd be a silly idea. And if there's one thing I don't do, I do not have silly ideas. I'm a very sensible, down to earth person. And I think that comes across in my recordings the sensibleness, 
the professionalness. It's you know it's very, uh, very very rewarding to know that I, I'm so so respected among the uh, hypnotist community and uh, helping people with. I'm not sure what it is I'm doing, but uh, someone's listening, so that's good. What other things could I have? You could have a dessert. I mean, you could eat the donut as a dessert. I just thought about that. I didn't think about that before. The donut, because it's fairly sweet, especially if it's got sugar on it, and maybe jam in it, you can have that as the dessert. Or you could have, what's that, those souffles, souf, souf, souffle, soufflet, souffles inside the donut. Wow, imagine. Wow, wow. That would be wonderful. And uh, what other things you could you have ice cream? Now that's perfect. I can't imagine anything better than ice cream inside a donut, especially a warm donut. Or oh. um, you could have a Knickerbocker Glory inside a donut. So you could have fruit or fruit juice, ice cream. Uh, maybe custard if you wanted but I wouldn't have custard but you can have lots of different things a uh, nice chocolate flake um, see the thing is when I was young we used to have angel delight instead of custard with things like trifles because I didn't like custard did not like custard was not a thing I liked so if you're thinking, if you've been thinking all the way through this, what's wrong with a, a custard staircase? Wouldn't that make sense? Well, no, it wouldn't, would it? Wouldn't make sense at all. Which is why I don't have it. And uh, now the dog's trying to get my attention, wanting me to go out. Doesn't like, I mean, literally, it's not even been... He hasn't been indoors an hour yet. It doesn't do this when he's with his dad. It doesn't have to go out every hour. He literally... I mean, I'm just... The amount, the amount of poo he did, he could have he could have built a staircase. Well, not he couldn't have built a staircase because I don't think he's a builder or a magic staircase fairy made of poo you know that so you know that probably wouldn't work mind you to have him with me meant I wouldn't have to lick every tree because he'd be able to sniff it out wouldn't he not the the poo fairy because that's not what I would go for and the whole point of this is to have something nice and Angel Delight, I don't know if you ever ever had Angel Delight. It was yummy. I'm not even sure if it still exists, but it was ever so yummy. Yum, 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 yum. I remember thinking when I first tasted it, when I was probably about seven, oh, I like this. And uh, the second time I tasted it, I thought, yeah, I'd definitely do like this I agree with myself on this particular subject and the third time I tasted it I'm not sure what happened because I think I'd kind of forgotten about the first two times and I just ate it I wasn't in a um, I wasn't in a conversational mood within myself at that time didn't didn't feel like commentating on every aspect of of the dining experience which you know sometimes happens so with this staircase 
that custard will be gone. I don't not not a custard person. I tell you what I do like. I like shoe pastry. And I don't mean literally shoe because you know when I was when I was younger and we'd have chocolate eclairs there and and uh, so oh do you want chocolate eclair I said yeah okay what's what's it made of because you know I like to like to know this stuff and I was told oh it's made of shoe pastry I say no thanks then no thanks very kind of you but no 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 so was the ice cream made of underpants no, what? I'm like, what are you talking about? I said, no, 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 thanks. You can keep your underpant ice cream and your shoe pastry and your. And I couldn't think of what to say then. You know, I was on a roll, but then I just like, I went dry and like, oh, I was doing really well here. I was, I was kind of pleased with myself at the time. I remember because I wrote down in my little diary. Uh, I think it was Tuesday, the 2nd of March, 1977. And I wrote down, uh, yeah, I'm pleased with myself today. Yeah. So, I had, um, <laughs> I had, what else would I have? I like shoe pastry though, once I realised it wasn't made of shoes. And it's among my favourite things in the world. Because you've got the chocolate eclairs, which are long, with cream and inside and chocolate on top. But you've also got the other things, what are they called? Um, like the balls that, um, so you've got the long thing and you've got the balls. The long thing, you know, if you if you if you hold it, it squirts out the end. You know, like the cream and stuff, and you get your hand all sticky. But that's chocolate for you, isn't it? It's, it depends. I like them when they're cool, when they're out of the fridge, as opposed to in the summer on the beach have it been in my rucksack with my underpants and my, and my swimming trunks for the last three hours you know that's a gooey mist that, and no mistake that's, that's just yeah so I prefer out of the fridge nice and cool the chocolate's hard not hard enough to to break my jaw but hard enough to be crunchy ish and oh talk about that there was a time I don't know if you know this there was a time where you could get you might still be able to get it but there was this chocolate um, in a in a tube and it, it sometimes it was chocolate sometimes it was uh, kind of um, minty minty chocolate and you could squeeze it and you could put it onto ice cream and it became hard. I like that. I like that a lot. And I used to love it, but I can't remember seeing it probably pretty much since the 80s. So I don't know if it's even made anymore because I bought some um, a couple of years ago, which just um, it kind of negates what I said previously but I haven't not seen it since the 80s but I thought this was the same thing but it didn't go hard like the one in the 80s it was just almost stayed a bit sticky and a bit gooey and I thought no 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 that's not right and I remember I had the bowl of ice cream with this sticky chocolate on. I went back into the supermarket. I said, look, I bought this. And it's supposed to be hard. I want to be able to push my spoon 
onto the chocolate and crack it and the bloke said to me who I spoke to he said I'm sorry to hear that sir this is a fish counter I said, well where do I go then he said well you see over there if you turn turn left there's the uh, the chocolate on top of the ice cream counter I see the lady there I said oh, okay thanks I said how will I tell which one she said he said oh she'll have a chocolate spread on her head I said what he said yeah that's just something she likes to do she did it when she was in the bakery counter as well but that's why they moved her to the chocolate counter chocolate spread on top of ice cream counter um, it just kind of works out a little bit which is better because the person that used to work on the chocolate uh, on top of ice cream counter used to have a baguette on his head so now he's on the, in the bakery I said really? he said yeah I know it's a funny old place I said yeah telling me he said yeah I know I'm telling you I was here when it happened I was here when I told you I mean why you know, why are you telling me like I should be surprised that I told you I said I'm not surprised that you told me or I'm telling you that you oh, I've lost track of the conversation and he said yep that happens a lot for some reason and uh, so I said well thanks for your help and he said are you, are you forgetting something I said what he said you're not going to give me a kiss I said no you know, it's a little, little one. I said, okay, okay then. So that's fine. And, uh, you know, swap numbers and stuff. So I, I went and uh, went to the counter to the lady who had the chocolate spread on her head, who was looking after the chocolate spread on the ice cream counter. And I said, hello, afternoon. She said, hello. And she looks at me, I look at her, and it's, it's like a a standoff, you know, we're kind of not, neither saying, no, we're not saying nothing, I'm not saying nothing, she's not saying nothing, or she's not saying anything and I'm not saying anything. And eventually she says, yeah, can I help? I said, well, I'm waiting for you to say afternoon to me. She said, what? I said, well, I said... Uh, you're right uh, hello afternoon and you didn't say it she said yeah I did she said no I didn't she said yeah I did and I said no nope, nope, you didn't and she said well is it, what can I help you with t today sir can I help you today and I said not today but in three days time I'm going to come back so if you can help me then she said what I said yeah you can help me today that's why I'm here she said well you're going about the see you in three days time then I said because you're stressing the word today when you're saying can I help you today I'm here now I wouldn't be here now if I didn't need your help she said, well, actually, some people come to just chat. I said, I highly doubt that. She said, what are you saying? I said, I'm not standing that far away from you. I said, I highly doubt that. She said, oh, okay, I just didn't hear you. I forgot you were there. I said, what? You forgot I was here? She said, yeah, yeah, I was thinking of other things what what were you thinking about she said oh something about uh, I just had this really good idea uh, something I can do at home uh, I said what, what, what is it she said well I'm thinking about getting myself don't laugh I said well I can't guarantee that um, but after I've only known you a little while but there's a chance I can't imagine I won't she said, what do you mean by that? I said, well, no, I'm just saying, I'm, I'm, 
I'll try not to laugh. She said, okay, I've got this idea for my house. I'm going to get myself. Are you ready for this? I said, mm, not sure, but yeah, go on. She said, I'm going to get myself a jam donut fridge. And I said, fridge? Do you mean staircase? Said, staircase? That's ridiculous. And then we danced and danced. Everyone in the whole whole store started dancing. We're doing the tango, fandango. And uh, it was almost like, like the ending of a, a big musical. And there was balloons and uh, poppers, fireworks going off. It was, it was so lovely. And uh, everyone involved took a bow. And I said, thank you for everything. It's been a lovely experience. And because I like to lie. And everyone lived happily ever after. And they fell asleep deeply. And they all remembered to be kind to yourself because you deserve to be happy. Lots of love. Bye.